I'm as sceptical as the next person, but there's something you've got to admire about these next guys. These are two guests I had in yesterday to do a pre-record. Paranormal investigators Craig Labutt and Matt Dobson Hall came in yesterday to chat ghosts, and you've got to love their attitude. They don't know if there is something, but they want to solve their own unanswered questions. I asked them about the terminology. Ghost hunters? Paranormal investigators, I think, would be a good, uh, good title to go with. What is paranormal? Um, just basically, I mean, the way I see it is we genuinely take it as more of a, a, a spirit or a ghost. There's two types of paranormal. You've got a ghost, which what we would su uh, suggest is imprinted into, into time. So it's a repeat. It's like a video repeating itself, going over and over again. And you can't really communicate with it and it can't communicate with you. Uh, so that's one part of the paranormal. And then the other part, I would say, is a spirit, which is a, 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 a ghost, or something as people would normally commonly call it, a ghost that you could actually talk to, which can actually interact, which can move around, which can be, it's, it's kind of free. So that's what I would class as the paranormal. As paranormal investigators, I'm assuming that that means you have seen ghosts yourself. Well, seen kind of images parts so you can see kind of images that corner of your eye not actually said oh there's a ghost someone mm -hmm. standing in front of me never come across that but you've gone into a room and you felt sink and you've gone to a certain point you feel a presence you feel the sink there but to actually physically say see the form manifestation of a ghost no so how do people come to you what what sort of things would they actually phone you and say do they actually say i've seen a ghost or I've seen something that's out of the ordinary that they weren't expecting to see? I basically just like word of mouth for keep getting here. I'd photograph um there's one going round local area at the minute, um there's a party girl just about to go out and the little sisters in the corner. And then there's one an image of a I don't know, scary child looking between them. Uh, <laughs> and basically mm. people say that, um and can you come around the house and have a look, basically. That's what we do. I see. So it's not necessarily things that people have seen with their own eyes. Uh, it could be something that comes up on a picture that's yeah. perhaps taken, you know, at the scene. And then you guys will get called to come and investigate. Can yeah. Come and have a look. And I mean, it, it, just today, I went somewhere today, mentioned that I was a, a ghost hunter. And people, people, everybody's had an experience with ghosts. Everybody's had something in their house or they, you know, they've always got a story to tell. And that's how it really goes. As soon as you mention you're a, you're a ghost hunter or a paranormal investigator, they it starts a conversation and you'll get down to the knit oh, i've got i mean like today this woman said i've got two ghosts one's upstairs and one's downstairs and one protects the upstairs one protects downstairs but they can never meet and she was just giving me all this uh, thing so i've given my card and she said she might get in contact because she would like to know more so we, we're going to come around and we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully do what we do and get some information so that's very specific isn't it what the, the the upstairs and down? Said, yeah, it, it's quite it's quite bizarre that she actually knows this already. I mean, why she would need this to come in if she already knows all of this anyway? I I don't know, but she but she was very adamant that she you know this guy was upstairs and this guy was downstairs and they would not meet and that was it. So, so what's the purpose of you investigating? What are you actually hoping to come out of it with? I, I have unanswered questions. I mean, I've only been interested in the paranormal since about 2003, and I've had a few things. I mean, we started here at the Guildhall, which is just over the road from here, and it literally, that kind of opened my eyes really to some, because I had, I had things happen to me on that night, which I can't explain, and that's what I want to do. I, I've got unanswered questions. I have uh, questions for myself to, to say, well, it, what are my feelings? Is that real, or is it just I'm losing my marbles? And, and you know, and at the end of the day, that's what I'm, I'm I'm searching for myself I'm not searching for, for anybody else I don't want to make you know we don't make no money out of this or anything like that we do this purely voluntarily and I'm, I'm searching for myself so if if I can help somebody else get somewhere then that, that's that's what I'm aiming at how did you get into it Craig it was like friends of friends had joined up and we all met here that's the first time we met Matt and his wife at the time um, so we just it's basically gone on from then I mean um, I keep hearing the stories about where me folks live around Humberston, because we've done something called Haunted Humberston, where everybody's emailing us in. So that house was haunted as well. So it's gone... It's just gone on from there, basically. My initial reaction was that the purpose of you hunting the ghosts was to then get rid of them. But I assume that's totally not the point at all. No. No, we don't. Whatever people believe about ghosts, I believe you've just got to wipe it out your mouth because, you know, with one breath, people are telling you, "Oh, ghosts are stuck in one place. They have this, they have this reason why they need to stand there and do, you know, and and, and be there." But then in the next breath, they're saying, "Well, be careful because they might come home with you." 
Well, which is it? So in my general opinion, and my, what I've been doing over the last five years, is that ghosts are like me and you, sat here, they can go wherever they want, do whatever they want to do, and all this, like, we can get rid of them. I generally have never seen anything like that happen, and generally don't believe that myself. We're more there to, to, to find out the truth. So, hopefully the truth is out there for them. They tell me how they go about their hunting for the paranormal in part two. I know it's going to sound weird, but during that song, the lights that don't usually flash randomly, not just the lights, you know, the fluorescent lights that are in the ceiling, but the little signal lights that are in the studios here at BBC Radio Leicester, a couple of them did actually flash during... Now, I, maybe it hasn't got anything to do with it, I don't know, but I was talking to Craig Labutt and Matt Dobson-Holt, their paranormal investigators, I found out what tools they use for their job. Standard video cameras. Um, older the better if you've got a, what they call zero lux, which can see in pitch black, basically. Uh, we also use a uh, Fluke thermal imaging camera. Uh, we use just generally normal um, gadgetry, yeah, yeah, normal like um, digital MP3 cameras. MP3 recorders. MP3 recorders, EMF um, meters. Yeah, EMF meters. Um, um, heat sensors. Just, yeah, just using CCTV on the last hunt, mm. uh, which was quite interesting. Um, also, we do use psychic boards, and we don't use, like to use a Ouija board. We use uh, crystals as well. What's what's a psychic board? It's kind of roughly the same thing as a as a Ouija board would say. It's got more letters on it, more numbers, and it's, it's it looks prettier. Um, and um, basically, it can't. It, you, you call it a psychic board. It, let's say it is generally is a Ouija board, but you know it's one that's been made by somebody else. It's you know you've got to read the book to 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 know how to use it. And it's more symbols on there to give you more more things. Whereas a Ouija board just just got letters on. If you want to say, are you here for any reason? There could be a symbol on there, like 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 uh, an angel. It doesn't necessarily mean it's an angel. You have to go what the meaning says, and that kind of you know that's kind of the board that we kind of I, we prefer to use uh, Geo Five. So. so it's a bit like the kind of um, I guess in simplistic terms the uh, the tarot cards of communication. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a it's not about what it shows. Yes. It's about the sort of meaning yeah. behind it. Yes, it does yeah. that also mean that it's open to some sort of interpretation as well? It can be. I mean, m with me, you, we get, they say when it moves for us. It, it moves, you know, and it generally they say from the from the eighteen hundreds. Does does it just never, uh, does it mean that these people understand what these symbols are? Do they not say I'm an angel or, or I'm 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 angry or whatever the symbol is? They're literally looking at the symbol, saying it's that. So you've really got to look into it more. But what we generally say to people is sometimes don't you know when you when you're on it, write everything down. We'll look at it and then we'll let you know because if we if we let everybody else look at it themselves, they're going to interpret it. Because you can. You can sit there and say, oh, it's, it, it looks like it's bad and they may mean I'm going to die or something, which is never the truth, so never. There's been uh, different programmes coming out over the last few years, hasn't it? Most yeah. Haunted sticks in my mind. <laughs> What you, I mean, <coughs> yeah. you laugh. Is that you know? Is that your opinion of those sort of programs? Uh, no, because most wanted got us started. That was one of the, one of the reasons why I, we decided to come to the Guild Hall here because we'd all watched this amazing program in two thousand and I think it was about two thousand two, two thousand and four, something at like that time when it had started. It was a mo it was an amazing program, but once you've been on an investigation yourself, you kind of tend to see some you know some errors or, or you tend to just look at it in a different way. Um, not saying they're not great programs because they are they're entertaining because you know people who watch it and it's still on the tv right now so it can't be a bad program but it's better to do it yourself than actually watch it so if, you know if you're not too scared get out there get out and join us you know and join any group really just go out there because it's once you do it you're hooked i mean i'm hooked i've been doing it for five years now so what's the name of the group that you're involved with it's oh, gi5 yeah gi5 GI yes. yeah we've got a separate part as well which is gi5.1 yeah <laughs> uh, digital yeah. um which the public can come along with yeah. um two weeks ago we went to was it battlefield line in bosworth um what load of people with us they enjoy the night the books for the next one already yeah we've got people booking so ba basically gi5 is really just there's there's uh, nine of us in the group uh, we we all go out and investigate and then we've just started up our uh, a, a separate group just to take people along just just to generally teach people because what we do we do workshops show people how to use the equipment so if they want to use crystals they know how to use it if they want to use the board and then generally we let them do it on their own we don't go with them we don't stand there and say right this is how we're gonna you know this is it. we let them do it and then make up their own mind because I, we don't want to force them to think that there's something in there if they, if they come out in the night and nothing's happened 
then that's then they have to then they make up their own mind on the night if they want to do it again so what's next on the cards then have you got a project uh we've basically still got um haunted humberston which is still going so if you if you do live in hum humberston you know go onto our website give us some stories because uh we'll be more than willing to pop around and and sit down and investigate it with you and we've got a, a hunt for gi 5.1 at the moment which is the confirming which is in june uh june the 6th yes yeah. june the 6th it's at derby jail which is owned by most haunted hi uh, former most haunted uh historian richard phillips so and you never know he always pops in from now and then so what's the web address uh, it's www.gi5.co.uk genuinely